Hey, what's up guys? I'm Larry from Overtime. We were talking in the office about how much these athletes make nowadays. Peep how much the first ever NFL draft pick made without even playing a game. These days, the number one pick in the NFL draft makes stacks. Matthew Stafford signed a $72 million deal in 2009, and Sam Bradford copped a record-setting $76 million deal after he was drafted by the St. Louis Rams. The rookie contract rules have changed since then, but even now, if you're drafted first, you're gonna be rich. Miles Garrett just got drafted by the Cleveland Browns in April, and he banked a cool $20 million as soon as he signed his name. But the first ever NFL draft pick, Jay Berwanger, got offered only 125 bucks per game when he was picked by the Eagles in 1936. Not only did he turn down the offer and not play a single day in the NFL, he still ended up making millions of dollars. Here's how it happened. Burwanger was an absolute monster for the University of Chicago back in the 1930s. Yes, today, UChicago is known as a school for nerds and Division III sports, but back then, it was the littiest sports school in the Big Ten. Burwanger was technically a running back, but he also threw passes. Caught passes, punted, kicked extra points, kicked off, was a defensive force, and played the whole game, every game. Oh, and he called the plays. So how good was this guy? In his last game, he outgained Illinois' entire offense in rushing. Scored the only touchdown and kicked the PAT. And the headline on the paper was Burwanger 7, Illini 6. Legendary sports writer Granlin writes that he was the ablest back of the entire crop. <laughs> I better translate that. In modern day terms, he was the meanest dude out there. He also was voted as the best player anyone has seen by 104 out of 107 of his opponents who were asked. That's 97%. If that wasn't enough, Burwanger gave President Ford a scar under his eye when Ford tackled him in a Chicago Michigan game. No other Heisman winner has been tackled by a president. In 1935, Burwinger was awarded the first ever Downtown Athletic Club trophy. You might know it as the first ever Heisman Award, but he apparently didn't care much about the trophy, so he gave it to his aunt. She used it as a doorstop. So yes, the first ever Heisman trophy was used to prop a door open. After his playing career at Chicago, Burwinger got drafted first overall by the Eagles in the first ever NFL draft. The Eagles couldn't pay him what he wanted, so they traded his rights to the Bears. The Bears couldn't pay him what he wanted, so he walked. After that, he coached football, was a rubber salesman, refereed college games, wrote a column for the Chicago Daily News, and eventually joined the Army. When Burwanger returned from the war, he used his top-notch education to start a company that produced plastic and rubber pieces for automobiles. You know those rubber things in car doors? That was Burwanger. By the time he sold the company in 1992, it was making 30 million per year. Way more than that 12,000 per year he wanted from the Bears. So it's safe to say Burwanger made the right choice. For all those NFL hopefuls out there, don't worry. Even if you don't make the league, you can still get filthy rich. This is Larry from Overtime. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, click the subscribe. If you want to watch more, click over here. We out.